Hello everyone, my name is Kurt Rasmussen. Today I would like to discuss AutoCAD sheet sets. I'm using Civil 3D 2011, but this demonstration applies to any AutoCAD product beyond 2008. On the side here, I have my sheet set icon, which is tucked away over here. I don't have any sheet set open. Another way to get to that is through the View tab. And then we see here under Palettes, we have sheet set right here. Control 4 will also do the same thing. Many project, if it already started, already has a sheet set created. For this demo, I will start a new one from scratch. I'm going to pull down this menu and say New Sheet Set. We're going to create it from existing drawings. I'm going to say Next. I'm going to give it a demonstration name uh, for our sheet set. we'll call the sheet set. I could give it a description. This is where the DST file is going to go. This should be your project. I'm going to say sheet set properties. In here we could give it the project number which we'll say 1234. Project name will be sample project. Sheet, template, uh, sheet creation template. I'm going to browse that to our network template. And this is so that I can create new sheets directly from the sheet set manager. I'm going to browse to my files. I'm going to pick it from my documents. I have a handful of files in here that are AutoCAD drawings. And we'll notice that they checked everything off here. I'm going to uncheck this. If you were going to your project drawing location, you probably do want everything checked off. You may have them also in different spots. I'm going to start by checking an AutoCAD drawing there, AutoCAD drawing here, maybe another one just for this demonstration, and say next. We see that they're listed here. It numbered them in order. We can always change that later. I'm going to say finish. And as we see over here, that quickly, all those five sheets became part of my sheet set. It shows a preview, tells you who it's made by. Um, the date, who has it open, things like that. If you double click on it, it will open the drawing. And it will also put a padlock next to it, saying that this file is locked. If you continue to open drawings, since AutoCAD can open multiple drawings, it'll keep them in the background and you'll see multiple padlocks start up. To point out the benefits of a sheet set, one is I could publish all to a DWF file, a DWFX file, which is an XML version of a DWF, which can be viewed through Internet Explorer or other web browsers. You can publish to a PDF or publish to Plotter. When you choose Publish to Plotter, it's going to use your default settings for your page setup. To verify what that is, we're going to look at Output and Page Setup Manager. This page, if we hit Modify, we see that it's going to a plotter that we don't have here. You would point everything here and set up your CTB and say okay that would now apply to this layout so that we could just say send to plotter. You can point to an override file which is located right here, page setup override file. This would be used if you wanted to send a a full set of plans maybe to 11 by 17 you could create another drawing that has the page set up for 11 by 17 maybe different plotters and then you could use that when you go into your sheet set you'll have the option to publish using page setup override another benefit is that you can e-transmit so you could take your whole set of plans, e-transmit. E-transmit really is the only way to send documents because most of these files have several reference files attached to them. SHX files for your fonts and your line styles. Color tables attached to it which control the weights of your plotting. Um, and also any images that you may have attached. It will package it all up into a zip version so that you can send to your client. Now I'm going to show you how to create a new sheet directly from your sheet set. So I'm going to say new sheet. I'm going to give it a sheet number, let's say 15. 
and the sheet title we'll call it construction plan and I'm gonna it says open in drawing editor so we want to edit this drawing so I'm gonna say okay I actually created this before so you see here it opens up our title block with the viewport already attached right there let's remove this for the demo this is the dynamic block that I showed in another presentation uh, it's very interactive so that you can change the size of your title block uh, with or without discipline designators uh, change your address um, what I'm gonna do is since this is a block we want to explode this so I'm gonna explode that once I explode it you see that the sample project name filled in construction plan filled in the project number filled in and the sheet number filled in if I was to go up to the sheet set manager again and right click and say rename or renumber the construction plan let's call that 16 and call this grading plan when we say OK we see nothing happens I actually have to do a regen so that now you can see that change um, this would also regen when you go to save or print we can also use this sheet set to create our table which would be the sheet list I'm just gonna say OK and use a style that I already have created and when we place that we see that we have our sheet list let's go back and change the name of the grading plan and we will change this back to let's just say utility plan we notice now it didn't change it still says grading plan and grading plan up here I'm gonna do an REA for regen all we see utility plan updated but grading plan did not what you need to do is highlight this table right click and say update table data links when you do that now we see it says utility plan and a final thing I'll show you with the sheet set is that you can create subsets your subset you may call this structures and what this will do for us is create another subset under here that we can add new sheets to you see we make a new drawing come into here explode our title block so that it says bridge plan and we see here that is a subset under structures this way you can e-transmit just one department or one group of sheets maybe you're going for a permit and you have a separate permit plan set one thing to let you know anytime you associate a drawing to a sheet set you cannot associate that same drawing to another sheet set so keep that in mind when you're working with this. That will conclude my demonstration for sheet sets.